Hello everyone, it's me, Don Marco, and I'm back again with another vid. Now I'm back in Taiwan, so this video is going to be on the channel after the Japan videos are finished. And I, uh, this video is showing you what Taipei MRT is like. The MRT stands for Mass Rapid Transport System, and the reason. I'm doing this video now is because recently I was in a scooter accident and my scooter is broke uh, and it's getting fixed it's going to take six hours plus to get fixed and costing us an arm and a leg uh, I will post the pictures in the future of the accident but right now there is uh, a dispute going on so I'm not posting the pictures to let you see the, uh, what happened and I'm stood outside Taipei Bridge MRT station so this is this video is all about showing you what the MRT is like in Taipei and before we get started I can tell you the Taipei MRT is cheap efficient clean on time uh, it is excellent it's one of the best transport systems in the world in my opinion that I've used from my I can't compare it everywhere in the world I can just compare it to the ones I've used and compared to what I've used it is excellent so I'll show you it now uh, that's the sign behind us there look that when you're in the street in Taipei if you see this sign up there that means it is an MRT station so I'll just give you a quick look Taipei Bridge Station is located in Sanchong District and outside the station looks a bit like this so Sanchong district is a heavily populated district in New Taipei City. This area here is close to Taipei Bridge. Uh, down the end of the road there, I don't know if you can make it out, but there is a bridge. That's Taipei Bridge. So this is, this is basically the border between Taipei and New Taipei. And this is the station entrance here. It's got an apartment building upstairs. I can't stand further back and show you the apartment building because I'll be standing in the middle of the road. So that that wouldn't be good, would it? I'll quickly show you the uh, I'll quickly show you the times that the lines finish. So on this little board here, it's got all the lines. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's eight lines now eight main lines and two little like add-on extension lines and the last trip the last train departs like between half 11 and uh, half 12 really so anywhere between half 11 and half 12 is the last train and there's a lot more lines than when I first got here so we are at Taipei Bridge Station now and we're on this line here the orange line Chonghe Shinlu line this one has recently been expanded uh, but I don't use this one much it's more like suburban line suburb line right so let's get in the station I think you'll be shocked when you see how good Taipei's MRT is uh, you can't eat or drink on the MRT here I know in London on the tube you can eat and drink inside and a lot of other European state uh, transport systems you can but in Taiwan you can't. So this Taipei Bridge station feels like a bigger one. Just entering the station now. Right so when you get down to the platform stand it looks like this. That's the gate what you have to buzz through to get to the platform and over here is the tickets so this is the map up here look that's the map so the little number on the map where it says like 25 and 30 and 35 and that that is how much it costs for one journey so from here the most expensive is 50 NT to go all the way to Danshui on the red line where am I? I'm on the orange line somewhere let me find Taipei Bridge Station I'm here 
Taipei Bridge. So if I want to go all the way to here, that'll be $50, which is about a quid, 10 pence. So you tap the screen to begin, look. And then it's got all these different languages on the bottom. So I take English, obviously, but it's very multinational language. So you should have no problems using it. So if I bap English, it's on English already, look. I can single journey ticket. So uh, hang on, love. So I am going to, I'm just going one stop because I want to go to Dihua Street, which is the other side of the bridge. So basically this Taipei Bridge and Da Chao To, that's just one stop either side of the bridge. So that would be 20 NT. So I would go single turn. Sing I've just pressed single journey ticket there. Then I would have to press 20 NT. Then I would put my money in there. But I don't. And that's how it works. So we'll cancel that. So I've cancelled that because if you live here, I have something called an easy card. And the easy card is like Taipei's version of the Oyster card, but it can be used for pretty much everything, man. It's like uh, getting bikes, paying in 7-Eleven, paying for your uh, shake and drinks at 50 and that. It's not just a transport card. You can use it for a whole host of things. So I don't need to buy a single pass because I can use my easy card. So let's get through here and get to the next stop. Here is a bigger map for you to see, look. The MRT is coming now. Everyone queues up quite nicely here. So let's find what will queue this bit here, whatever. I'll just queue here. So that is, this is the MRT I'm getting on. One stop. And you can see when we go in here how clean and nice it is. Clean as a bean. To be perfectly honest with you, I would have happily walked across the bridge, but anyone who's lived in Asia will know uh, bridges don't really have a lot of walking access in them in Asia. So I have to get the transport. All right, so that's the MRT. Right, that's it, one stop. Uh, this is probably not the only place I'm going to while I'm waiting for the scooter like, so I'll be on uh, another journey on a different line most likely. And um, like I said, I would much prefer just to walk across the bridge, but uh, they don't really have a path to get across the bridge on a lot of bridges in Asia. So it's uh, like a death trap, some of them, if you want to try and walk across. So. That's why I have to get this one stop. It's only $20 anyway if you bought a single ticket. It actually said the station is a transfer stop. And there goes the train, the MRT, sorry. This is the station, look. So one pro tip I can give you if you use the MRT in Taipei is make sure you get the correct exit because a lot of stations have loads of exits and if you take the wrong exit, you'll find yourself having to walk for ages. So make sure you get the right exit because a lot of the stations are quite big. So the exit information, a lot of uh, stations have this exit information sign and if I look at this I need 1A because I'm gonna have a quick look down Dihua Street I haven't been there during the day for uh, years so I'm gonna go so if you look at the sign the arrow says you gotta go left for 1A and then right for 2 and 3 and 1 and 1A is to the left so we're going to the left 
this is the way we're headed through the station look at it also clean as a bean all the, all the stations are like this in tai Taipei clean as all of Taiwan really Dihua Street is a really old street in Taipei and I haven't been there for years during the daytime I tried to do a video when I first started my channel there but I got there too late so I might record some stuff when I get down there but this video is mainly focused on introducing you to Taipei MRT because once my scooter is fixed I won't be on the MRT very much We're coming to the exit now, so when you come in and out of the station, you have to buzz in and you have to buzz out, and then it'll deduct the money from your card. So, I'm not sure if I had enough time, but I did try and show you when I buzzed out there that it deducted $20 from my card. $20 is probably about 50 pence now. I put it on the I'll put it on the conversion the currency conversion I used XA currency converter like most other people it says 39 NT is one pound these days so that's really low the pound is crap and so that means if it's 39 NT that means that's probably about 50 pence these days right so that's it for my first stop on the MRT I will join you again when I finish in Dihua Street and I come back I will show you some others some more of the MRT give you a good feel about it so you know how it is and all that kind of stuff and then uh, I hope I can just give you an impression of what the MRT is like so this is the exit here at Da Chao To which is a mouthful to say if you're not a Chinese uh, natural Chinese speaker or it's not your mother tongue so this is Da Chao To station and I'm going to find where I need to go now. I will see you in a bit when I'm back in the MRT. Peace out. Right, I just got back from Dihua Street. Now I'm at uh, Da Chao To Station. Even though I can speak Chinese, that's a right mouthful. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to head to Taipei Station and show you a bit more of the MRT. Right, so I'm headed to Taipei Station from Da Chao To. I think this might include one change. Let's see how much it costs. So now I am here, Da Chao To, and I'm gonna go around here to Min Chuan Road, Min Chuan Rest Road, change to the red line, and then down here to Taipei Station. And that says it is 20 NT dollars. So both my trips today have been 20 NT dollars. So that is $40 for both trips. And so that means it is one bin lid, 50 pence for each of them. I just looked how much it'll cost from Taipei Station back to Taipei Bridge. It's also $20. So for free journeys on the MRT, Taipei Bridge to Da Chao To, Da Chao To to Taipei Station, Taipei Station back to Taipei Bridge it's one pound fifty fifty dollars uh, 20 NT each trip and they're only short journeys but still it's reasonable price so when the lights are flashing like this that means the train is coming so the train should be coming down here now switch at the red line and then the red line goes to Taipei station turns out it's only one stop happy days just one stop so there's the change information on the sign there we're changing from the orange line to the red line now I've changed to the red platform you can see it's also clean as out and this line will be busier because this is a main line, the red one. So there'll be more people on this than the orange line. 
This is like a central line. It goes through Taipei Station. There's the route for the red line. You can see all the change stations there, look. Orange, green, blue, green, orange, brown. There you go. Much busier in this one. It's not as busy as it is during the week. This is a weekend. If you come on this way during the week, it's uh, ram packed. So there's just two stops to go till my final destination. And I think the whole lot has took between five and 10 minutes from, uh, from close to Taipei Bridge, Da Chao Tol, to uh, Taipei Station. It's probably took like between five and ten minutes in total which is mega when you consider uh, you had to change stops as well you had to change trains I'll show you getting off at Taipei station and then we'll end it there right next stop so the sign says Taipei station is next Taipei Station. Hello. Right, this is where we get off. Right, I just got off at Taipei Station. This is the final stop where I'm going today. What I'm recording to show you the MRT. In total, I'm going to make three short trips on the MRT, but I only really showed you two of them because the final trip I'm not going to record it and this is what the platform looks like where you wait for the MRT and it is uh, spotless so you can't drink or eat in here and this is Taipei stations platform so I'm going to end this video here I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Taipei MRT Remember, MRT means mass rapid transport. And to wrap it up, Taiwan's MRT system is fast, efficient, clean, cheap, everything you want in a transport system. That's why it's considered one of the best in the world. And they keep expanding it as well. So now it goes to loads more places than when I first moved here 11 or 12 years ago. So, right, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what you think of Taipei's MOT and all that jazz. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.